Welcome to Not A Gamer Gaming. This is Genosis with a tutorial video for you today. I'd like to cover the basics of electricity. There's been some questions in the comments, and I'd like to have a reference video in our own channel that we can refer you to. There's been others that cover the topic over, you know, the last several years of Seven Days to Die being out there, but I like the one to refer to our community to, and something we can say, hey, we did it, and this is how we recommend it. All right, first things first, generators. You can get the generator bank by going into advanced engineering. I believe it is rank three. This will teach you generators and some base systems such as electric fences and blade traps. Then you have the battery bank, which you can get from rank four of advanced engineering. And then we have the solar bank. This can only be obtained from the trader from rank four of better barterer, which is in the intellect tree. Better barterer, there we are. And that requires uh, intellect number seven. And you can only get the solar cells that go inside of it from you know, Better Barter or Rank 5, which requires a max of a Meten Intellect. So these are the cells that you can get. You buy those from the trader. And here are the engines you'll need to put in the generator. And the batteries, you need to go into the battery bank. You can get the generator, sorry, you can get the engines and the batteries from wrenching cars, typically, or tool crates. Uh, you can get the engines from wrenching... Uh, the engine sitting in a garage somewhere, you get those guaranteed. So that's basically how you start with electricity, by getting one of these generators. You'll most likely start with this. Now, what to do with it? Now, first thing is you need a wiring tool. You will probably find this before you get too far into engineering, but if I'm not mistaken, I believe you learn how to craft it. Is it there? I have to double check. Couldn't be salvage operations, could it? No, I'm pretty sure you, you learn it with basic electricity in, in, in this. I don't sure, I believe it says it there. But most often than not, you'll find it in a crate or workbench or something like that. They're very easy to find, or you can buy it from, from the trader. Now, what to do with it? Now, base traps are one of the things you'll want to do. Now, electric wire posts, or uh, sorry, electric fest posts are one of my favorite things to use. So we'll take our wiring tool, uh, right click will start it, and left click cancels it. So we'll right click to we'll start wiring from a generator. And right click again to connect it. Now you see how the uses five watts of power and you can see how much the wattage is being used right here as well as the max output. Max output here, current power being used. All right, so this is powered. It does nothing. This wire is just to show you that it is connected. Now the, where the, the actual damage from it comes up when you connect it to a second post, you'll see that the line turns blue. That is active. So when you have your wire tool, you can see how connections are made, which is very handy. So when you do a connection to another post, still blue, that'll still do damage. Connect again. There. Now I'm going to re-enable re zombies here. I can just get one of their attention. There we go. They're going to come over here, and they're going to get a little bit of a shock. Oh wow, you're feral. There you go. So you keep them nice and still. Okay, we're going to pause zombies, because it's getting a little dizzy in here. Excuse me. Get you out of the way. Wow, I didn't realize uh, <laughs> how far my game stage was. Alright, so that's the uh, how to get the electric fence post set up. Now, you also want to use blade traps. We have them right here. Now, blade traps you can set in any location, usually some kind of a pit. Excuse me, sir, I need you to vacate. Cool. So blade traps, right about there. Why not? So, um, same idea is that when you wire them, you can actually wire them from other uh, other devices, or you can wire them from directly from the generator, like so. So let's call over another. Actually, we're going to spawn one in right here. Let's say uh, Darlene. That's the first I clicked on. Okay, enable zombies. Come over here, baby. Choppy, choppy, chop. Brutal. Let's get another one just to just to show you how this works. Uh, I don't know, Joe. Joe, let's get over here. Joe. There you go. Let's get rid of that guy. I don't want to bother us. Oh, oh, straight for the legs, and you're dead. Love it. All right, let's actually disconnect those. Just left click the disconnect. There, nice and quiet. All right, that is those traps. You can also set up uh, dart traps. We'll take this over here. And uh, what's a good spot for it? Let's say... 
right here. Now there's a handy dandy arrow to tell you which direction it's going to be shooting from. So let's set that right here. Let's have two of them. Oh, there's all the zombies around, isn't there? You know what? Let's uh, let's cl uh, clear house here. There, much better. A lot, a lot more quiet. All right. So for the electric, for the dart traps, you need ammunition. So you can take some ammunition. I'm going to split it up here, and then you have to click lock ammo to lock it in. So second trap, ammo in, lock ammo, and look at everything else. It requires power. Uh, let's use the solar bank since it's right here. Turn that on. Now, see, I was using the darts right away. Now, you'll want to set up some kind of a switch, but we'll cover that in a moment. But let's uh, spawn a zombie just to show what kind of damage that's going to do. Let's get Marlene over here. Marlene! Hey! There we go. Turn this back on. Bam. These are really, really effective. Uh, especially if you get two of them set up. Actually, connect from storm here to here. Then turn on the bank, just like that. It's really effective, and it uses up a lot of iron, though. So it's all used up about 50, I think, in each one of them, or so much. So we'll cover these switches there in a second. And the other big effective things for that is, for, for uh, traps, that is uh, turrets. So we'll have an SMG turret and a shotgun turret. Now, much like the uh, dart traps, you, they require ammunition. We get bullets here. We'll just put the full stack in there, lock it in, shotgun, lock it in. All right, so we're going to wire the solar bank to this guy. Actually, let's uh, disconnect these. Left click, left click, get the solar bank over here. Bam. Now, these won't shoot you right away because they're not targeting you. Now, what they target by default will be zombies and strangers. You can also target allies or yourself. Now, by default, it's the things that you'd normally want to shoot. Now, we can cover these uh, other targeting systems with uh, the motion sensor shortly. But if you want to play a plank prank on your friends, that is certainly an option. All right, so now that we have these locked, loaded, and targeted, let's go ahead and spawn a zombie. Yeah. Let's spawn a few. Extremely effective. Of course, it goes through your ammunition fairly quickly, depending on what you're doing. But hey, you know, that's uh, those are the prices you pay. These are more advanced things you don't want to do uh, probably in the first uh, couple weeks of gameplay. You want to go a little more manual with that one. All right, so those are traps. Very effective. Now, triggers. There, there's another subject. Let's uh, move this stuff out of here and then go to triggers. Let's actually get those blocks. All right. Now, let's start with a basic one, a switch. So let's maybe slam it right on here. Now, how do we use a switch? is you need to wire it from your, your source into it to power it. Let's actually turn the uh, turn these off. Disconnect, disconnect. All right, so that is now powered. See how the uh, one watt is lit up? Only using one watt of power. Now bear that in mind, if you want something connected all throughout the day, the switches will and relays will use power. We'll show the relays here in a second as well. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now that we have this cooked to a switch, you can turn it off, and then let's hook it up to a dart trap. Sorry, it was on. Okay, so it just starts the default off. So that's off, that's on. A lot more effective. So we'll do the same. Just gotta disconnect that. We can connect to our traps. And the switch to the traps. Now they're not on, so we have a zombie. Oh, you're feral. Hold on, I don't want a feral one. Actually, or do I? So these are off. And, oh, I need help! Help, 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 help! There you go. Haha! <laughs> Double tap. Okay, let's turn those off. Those are those can be dangerous. If you're between there and the zombies, you, you may get hit. Alright, so that is switches. Very, very simple. Now we have pressure plates. So you can have the single variety or the multiple variety. Let's actually get rid of that one. Well, that's, a, that's a really big boy. Wrong one. There. Let's use the big boy. That's the one by five trigger plate. Now, when not connected, makes a little noise. Cool. Now we're gonna wire it. So we're gonna wire it straight from the solar bank. Now, just like just like the switch, right now it's in the off position. You stand on it, on position. Let's show you how that works. Wire it from the uh, trigger plate to utility. Right now, not powered. 
powered. See how it lights up and turns off? Okay, let's uh, let's test this. Another zombie. Let's get a nurse. A couple nurses. Hey, over here. Okay, let's take a look at that. Not powered. Step right on the switch. Now, the benefit to this is right, throughout right now, you're using one watt of power. Or two watts of power for the uh, switch and the relay. But when it steps on the trigger, it then uses that 15 watts. But only uses those 15 watts while the trigger is enabled. So it's a very cost-efficient thing to do when you're setting up uh, you know, traps. Don't have them on all the time, as much as you'd want to. Set up some kind of a trigger. Now, another thing you can do, let's get rid of this since we've already established that, is we have trip wires. Let's go get that out here. Uh, where did I put them? Trip wires. Thought I had it in the bar. I did. Okay. Okay, now this is very similar to the electric fence posts, I believe. Actually, I rarely use these. So, solar bank, the trap, to trap across. Now, this will then power that. So again, same concept, that's powered, that's powered, so that's using, well, let's disconnect the switch. There you go. Okay, so that should only be using the uh, two watts of power. So let's connect the tripwire to that, tripwire to that. So you walk across, powered. Just like that. Actually, let me, let me check into something. I wonder if you can wire from either side. Nope, it only needs, it only, um, just like, actually not just like, but the uh, triggered end, I guess, is on the latter side of the connection. So you have to wire it first. Hold on, let's wire it from here to that trigger. And there to there. Oop, hold on, sorry. My bad, from here over to here. I figure this out myself sometimes. I, um, I've never used these. But, uh, hold on. Of course, I'm not powering it now. Derp, 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 derp. Okay, solar bank. Oh, and also another thing about wiring it, if you get too far away, the line turns red. It gives you an indication how far you can go. Okay, now that's powered. All right, those are unpowered, powered. Okay, let's test with another zombie because we like you know, like live fire tests. What's up, guys? Stand back, tripwire. Oh, that doesn't even work. There you go. See, the trigger doesn't last very long. But hey, you know, it does the trick. Wired, not wired. All right, so those are um, the uh, motions or the trip wires. Now there's one more thing to do here. Let's get rid of these. We get motion sensors. Or we'll actually also use um, the uh, wire relays in here in a second. All right, so a relay, let me just cover that quickly. It's used for spanning distances when it comes to wiring. So wire from here, wire to the relay, relay to whatever you're trying to power. So it doesn't do anything, but it just makes the connection longer. So if you want something connected right far away, it's getting kind of dark over here, you'd wire from each relay on. So you wouldn't be able to wire this all the way over here. Just can't. The wire actually snaps. But you can try to reach if you kind of stand between it. But in this case, no, it's way too far away. So that's what these relays are for, just getting spanning big distances. So now it's powered all the way over here. All right, uh, we can also power something. Uh, actually, we'll show that here in a second. Uh, the other kind of relay is the timer relay. So let's set up a timer relay right here and make sure it's powered. Okay, relay powered. Now, right now, it's set to a default to all, I think it's all day. No, no, so that's only noon. So uh, that's from midnight to noon. So what time is it? 11.53? 10.53, sorry. Let's set it to, uh, set it to 11 o'clock. So it's going to power it from midnight to 11 in the morning. So let's go ahead and power our blade traps. Okay. Let's say for some reason you want to do that. Okay, blade traps are powered. When it's 11 o'clock, no power. That was actually really well timed. I'm kind of proud of that one. <laughs> well, yes, uh, if you wanted to change that, set it to noon, 11, 11.30, whatever, power it again. Really, really handy. Um, now, something you may want to use that for is something like lights. So we have some, actually, let's get rid of these guys. Huh? Make it nice and dark in here. Set this up for uh, making it nice and bright. But let's replace those with powered lights. Like so. 
Okay, we're gonna set that to uh, you know, 11.30 just for now. Disconnect those. And we're gonna power our new lights. So, oh, hold on. oh that ends until 11, 11.30, my bad. Okay, so we're gonna power all of these lights with that. So well, the reason you wanna do this, obviously, is that you're working throughout the night, and then when it turns day, you want you don't wanna be powered. So turns into uh, daytime, lights are off. Again, fuel efficiency and cost efficiency is important. Right now that's using only six watts for all the thing, the wiring and switches. But if we set that back to uh, noon, those are powered and that's using 21 watts. Not a big deal if you're using solar, that's the big benefit. You're not wasting anything uh, except, you know, capacity. All right, so that is relays, timer relays and light bulbs, motion sensors. Now this is one of my favorites. Let's go ahead and set something up over over here. Let's uh, make some space. Okay, uh, this means we'll use uh, a relay. Just to show that we're using relays. And let's uh, disconnect some of these things. Just to get this uh, all cleaned up. Actually, I want, I, want those, I want the light back. Should be enough time, right? Oh, that's end time, my bad. Okay, and let's connect our solar bank back to the uh, that relay. Did I do that right? Oh, is this true? Okay. Powered on. Timer relay. Start end time. Oh, what am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing sometimes. <laughs> I hope you do, because I hope this tutorial is actually helping. All right, so everything's wired. I have some light. Fantastic. Now, something you also want to do is setting up something to a, uh, a motion sensor. Let's use something else for this. Let's use a oh, a door. Perfect. Let's use a door. Now, there's other things you can power with these uh, with electricity, and this is actually fairly new. You have hatches, okay, and you'll have doors. Which we'll set up right here, and you also have uh, get rid of this here. I don't know how call how big this is. Well, that'll fit perfect. Now, I couldn't have set this up better if I, if I tried. And then we also have the kind of shorter garage doors. Okay. Uh, also, another great thing is uh, drawbridges. Let's set that up. Uh, let's see. Good spot for it. Right about. Placing these are a bugger. You just get one properly set up. Come on, come on. One year later. Actually, a trick for these, and let me just uh, try that now, is uh, using some frames, uh, wood frame. There we go. I like using this for uh, like a, a basis, so if you want it to set against flush against that, you should be able to do it more easily now. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. All right, so we have the motion sensor. Let's go back to that. All right, so this is just powered the same way that the uh, turrets are set, except it's the reverse. It's going to target yourself and allies. Now, these are meant for, you know, friendly things like doors. So let's go ahead and wire this uh, relay from the solar bank. Electric wire relay that's powered. That wire relay and then motion sensor. All right, that's powered. Now, if we connect that to the door, now the door is not powered because it's not it's not sensing. Now it is powered. Move out of the way. No longer powered. It closes. Same same concept for this. Same concept for that. Open door. Open door. Open door. Send out of the way. Closed. Now obviously that will be good if you have a vehicle. And uh, hell, let's, let's spawn a vehicle just for fun. Uh, motorcycle. Do, do, do. Oh, it's a pink one. Too bad it doesn't actually show the color. But I think we're working on that. All right, let's fuel it up. Hey, you're driving by. Okay, I need to leave. Let's go. <laughs> Just like that. Love it. I love I love motion sensors. Now you can also use motion sensors for um, more meaner things. So let's uh, set it up like that. Now here's a little trick for motion sensors. You can not only set the target, you can also click on. Oh, I need to be powered. Sorry about that. Power from the relay. Actually, a relay right here. Yes. Okay, that's powered. Okay, let's go inside. You can click on the camera preview. You can look around, see what your range is. 
but you could point it. See what that red dot is? Let's say you want to, um, anything is near the blade trap, you want it to trigger. Okay, and there, right now it's targeting. Hold on, is that powered? Let me check my wiring. Blip. Yeah, that's powered. So let's connect that to the blade trap. There we go, it's on. Step away, off. All right, let's change this to zombies. So when a zombie walks over here, so I'll stand right on it. I'm not getting killed currently, but we will spawn a zombie. Let's uh, spawn one in. Uh, let's get Marlene. So here's a, th a warning about this. It'll trigger for zombies, but not you. So don't stand near your own traps. <laughs> because uh, even though it's not triggered on you, you'll still get chopped up. Oh, well, there's a wiring. Excuse me. Try not to die during my tutorial. Thank you very much. All right, so that's, that's this. This only triggers for zombies. Again, saving 20 watts of power throughout the day. So that's super handy. All right, um, there's a couple other things we'll cover. Now we've got doors, hatches, we've got basic lights, we've got speakers. Now these <laughs> these can be pretty annoying. Set that. Oh, that'll pick it up. And we'll set that to, I don't know, motion sensor, I guess. Just a warning that the gate's open. Oh, am I not close enough? Let's use a relay. Relay. Yeah, listen to that. Love it, right? Actually, hard. that's not even connected to the camera. Hold on, let's connect it from this motion sensor, the uh, zombie one. There we go. Okay, that's a little less annoying. Okay, let's say if you want to warn when the blade traps are on, we'll, we have it set to the, uh, the same trap. Camera's on, speaker's on, trap's on. Zombie's gonna die. Oh, that's brutal. Camera's off, uh, the speaker's off, and the blade trap's off. So this place is looking really wired up. So um, another thing I'd like to cover is uh, what's gonna happen when you use battery banks. Now this actually uses up the durability of the batteries where it's in use. So let's uh, power a few things up just to illustrate that. Powered, powered. Actually, let's, let's relay from here. And relay from here. So the, the downside to wiring it from other things is that if it's in a spot that could be damaged by zombies, you're risking damage. Okay, so that's all wired. So we're using 60 watts. Let's wire a few more things. Let's uh, wire to the relays. Relays to these guys. These are on all the time. Just want to use a bunch of power. We will link it from the other turret. Turret to these doors. Let's just use a ton of power. So how much power are we using? 130 watts. See, the durability is draining off the first battery. Now, something you can do to prevent that, um, you can actually set up a battery backup. So let's say the generator will now power the battery bank. So now it's using zero power, and this will start charging. But this will take the load of all that power now. So all, all the 108 watts that were being used by here is now being used by that. So if this get this generator runs out of uh, gas, power shifts over to here, 103 watts. Actually, is that oh, it was using five watts the power of the uh, power of the battery. That's where the extra power went. Uh, where were we? Turn that back on. And this takes the load and taking five watts of power to charge the battery. Can I see the uh, durability? I can't. You can see it right here. Don't know if it'll go up fast enough for us to. Oh, we just we just saw it. Okay, so that that shows you that one. All right, now there's one other little trick I'd like to do. Now, let me see if I can remember how to do this. Okay, let's uh, turn off some of these lights here so I can see this better. Okay, now let's say you have this whole situation. Now, you notice how the battery bank is not using any power. That could actually help be helpful. So all the load is being taken by the generator, using up gas and uh, saving up the battery bank. So when the battery, this runs off, things are still powered, which is great because you know this battery will last as a backup. So here's the trick. Let's say you wire the battery bank to the light. Oh, sorry, battery bank to the light. Hmm. Hold on, I thought this worked a different way. Maybe they changed this. See, that relays the power. Oh, I think I remember how, hold on. So let's take a let's take a relay. 
and I'll set it up right here. Power to the relay. Relay to the generator. And I think from the battery bank to here. Oh man, how, I forget how to do this. Hold on, let me uh, let me pause and, and remember how this works. All right, let's try this again. All right, so let's say we have the generator. Generator is on. We have uh, plenty of gas. Everything is fine. And we have the battery bank, not using any power, but powering all the devices. All right, so what happens if the gas runs out? So you see this light right here? This is telling us we have gas. Everything's fine. Generator ran out. Oh no, the light's off. All the power and everything's still running because it's using the battery power. But what you have to do that is wire it to a relay. The, get, the generator is powering the relay. And the relay is then off to the light. Now, the way that works is that if you have the line going through the two generators, you'll still carry power through. But if the generator is powering a separate device, such as the, uh, the relay, then that will not be powered. So link that to a, a light switch or a, a power light or light, sorry. You can use that as an indicator. So lights on, everything's fine. Lights off, you need to refuel. All right, well, that, I think, covered everything. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything. Uh, one thing I forgot to talk about is trigger delays. Now, when you have the tripwire posts, the trigger plates, and the motion sensors, there's an element to that. If you just hit E, you have a power delay, which will control how long it waits before it powers. So if we have a three-second power delay, let me turn it back on. Oh, pick that back up. See, it's not powered. Walk through. One, two, three. It's on. So that's cool. That may be handy. Let's uh, actually just walk through and re-trigger that. So it triggers on and off the way the way that works when you have the power delay. Let's say I'm running through. It's like, oh crap, zombies chasing me. Ah, you know. One, two, three. Bam. Okay, let's uh, let's see that in, in practice just for fun. Turn that off. Okay. So we have a zombie. Uh, let's say farmer. Why not, buddy? Hey. Oh, we gotta turn zombies back on. Hey. Hey, there you go. Oh no, run through. One, two, three. Well, maybe three seconds is too much. Okay, sorry, Bob, uh, you're a... Yeah, we'll try that again. Okay, let's set the delay to, I don't know, do you think two seconds is enough? Let's give him seven seconds to, to get chopped up. All right, so let's get a uh, nurse. Wake up, lady. Oh no, zombie's chasing me. Ah! And then, yeah, there he goes. So that actually might be an interesting way to do it. Excuse me. Jeez, rude. So yeah, an interesting way to do it. Now, the other way you can go is to have the power duration. We had it last for seven seconds. Or we can have it instant. Or always. So always may or may not be useful for whatever you're doing. So one, two, trigger, and it's on. And it's going to stay on. Now it doesn't trigger back off. I think that's the difference <clears throat> when it comes to you know delays and having it triggered for actually a power duration for triggered and delay for three seconds. It's gonna stay on. One, two, three. But you can turn it back off by re-triggering it. So that's interesting. That's a, an interesting element to all the stuff when it comes to automation. Like if you're driving through with your your thing, if you wanted to have it like a two, three second delay, if the uh, the motion sensor is way back here. One, two, three, door opens. So again, that's you see that with uh, motion sensors, trigger delays, power delays, as well as the uh, trigger plates. Anyways, I just want to add that in there. That's an important element of electricity, and I didn't want to miss it. No, nope. well, that's the basics of electricity. I know this place looks like a complete amount of chaos, but I hope I've given you enough basics to figure out how everything works from motion sensors, to relays, to time relays, to traps, and what their targets are. We definitely don't want to set that to self, because that will blow my head off. All right, that has been Electricity to Basics with Genosis. If you have questions, put them in the comments. I do hope I covered everything. I want to thank everyone for watching, and subscribe if you haven't already for more tutorial videos in the future, as well as our fun series, and like the video if you learned something today, or if you just like the sound of my voice. All right, have fun, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.